seven-year-old. Please welcome up our good friend Keisha G, our headline performer, Keisha G! I want to thank all ten of you who stayed. <laughs> you thought of what was waiting for you at home and you'd rather be here with me. You never even heard of me. Thank you. <laughs> So I want to tell you why I'm happy. I'm really happy that this week we had a break in the 90 degree weather. Yes. Because when I moved here from New Jersey, the real estate lady was like, you don't need air conditioning. It's only hot here for like two weeks in the summer. It'll be fine. By fine, she meant rotisserie Keisha. <laughs> How did I let her talk me into that, Susan? Let me talk to your manager. Growing up as a young black girl in the Deep South, I never thought that one day, the thing I'd be afraid of most is putting on lotion in my own home and then <laughs> popping like a kernel of corn. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that fear coming. <laughs> but we're making it work. We got fans on fans on fans. There's fans in every single room. It's like a White House press conference in there. It's just a lot of hot air blowing around all over the house. We're doing what we can. It's making me a strategic thinker too because before I do anything with my windows and the blinds, I have to start doing calculations like those hidden figure ladies. I'm just like, okay. So the sun sets at the square root of 10.22 p.m. And then, um, um, okay, a 73% windows in the house, and I'm trying to be 100% butt naked because I'm so hot. So I can open my blinds at never o'clock. Let's go at never o'clock. My little sister loves this heat, though. I don't understand it. She moved in with me after she graduated from, from school in New Orleans, and she's just a darling. She's so cute, but this heat thing is weird because it's what we just had here. She'll be sitting on the sofa wrapped in a blanket. <laughs> I come home one day, and I open the door, and I see her in the kitchen, and she's pushing buttons on the oven. I was like, is she baking? <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby sis, what you doing? She said, hey, Keisha, I'm making cookies. <laughs> My survival instinct started to kick in. I just wanted to run thinking about the blazes of hell that were about to happen in the house. It's like, I could, I could save myself. She's not gonna get me with these killer chocolate chips. <laughs> but then I thought about my little girl coming home to cookies baking. I was like, girl, don't leave, you rational. So I tackled my little sister and turned the damn oven off. <laughs> I saved lives that day. I'm not the hero our house deserves, but I'm the hero it needs. <laughs> One thing I want y'all to do for me in this heat when it comes back, because they say it's coming back. I want you to give your best thoughts and prayers to your big-breasted friends. <laughs> your best thoughts and prayers, not the ones y'all using for school shootings. It's not working. <laughs> your best thoughts and prayers for us. You don't know the sweat that's happening while they're pretending it's okay talking to you. Keeping it cool. This is new for me. I just got these. They, they came naturally. I didn't buy them. It just it happened really fast. I had a B cup one day, and then it seemed like the next day I had a quadruple D. That's a real size. The women in here know it is. I didn't know it was a size. It's just called a G in the UK. But in America, we like women's clothes sizes to look like Excel formulas. <laughs> Make us feel good about ourselves. But I know some of you might be like, hey, you won, girl. You got the big ones. Don't complain about that. Anybody who would say that are the people who are not walking around here in a skydiving harness made of lace. <laughs> it's not cool like you think it is. They won't let me be great. Like I was in the club one day. I'm rarely in the club, I'm 38, that's not my scene. But I was in the club 
And Beyonce comes on and she is talking about, you know, drop down low and speak the flow with it. If you know the song, get me ready. I was like, well, I still got it, so I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> Okay, Beyonce, drop down low and sweep the flow with it. And then the knees conspired with the G's. <laughs> I started to fall over. So I'm like, wait, I gotta, I gotta buy some time down here. <laughs> so everybody else had already popped back up. I started doing community service. I was like, ma'am, is this your earring back? <laughs> Very inconsiderate breasts and knees conspiring with Russia to take down my whole administration. <laughs> Unkind. Oh my gosh. I know some of y'all know what I'm talking about. And it's really hard to shop for them too, okay? Because you go to the store and all the cute little bras are merchandised in the main part of the store, the main aisle. They're hanging on hangers. They look like little holiday decorations. They are so cute. Nora Jones jazz is playing in that part of the store. <laughs> Not those quadruple Ds, dog. Those bras are around the back by the dressing room and they're in boxes, just hiding in a shame for themselves. <laughs> trap music is playing back there. <laughs> Quadruple D's in the trap. Jeez, you need industrial straps. straps. Get your chest out of your lap, lap. Girl, you need zippers and snaps. <laughs> Not okay. And then they're kind of self-sustaining too. They get bigger as you gain weight. So I know quadruple D's not even the end. <laughs> and they fight back when you try to work out. You try to run, but you gotta do that T-Rex move. <laughs> like, you see women doing this at the 5K, like why won't she sweep her arms? <laughs> She's trying to protect her neck. <laughs> Fit fit is just complaining like girl, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just being a G. <laughs> Akeisha G. Yeah.